Have you had a book burning in you for ages, but don't think you have enough time to squeeze it in? I have good news. You probably do. Even if you have a full-time job and young children, I can almost guarantee that you do because most of the writers I work with fall into those camps. Today, I wanna to talk about how to find time to write your book now, not later. Let's go. I rewrote my first novel, When You Read This, about 13 times over six years, a lot of times. The last time I rewrote it, and it was the final time because I finally learned to stop writing according to all the rules and instead put my heart into it, I was staying in a friend's cabin in upstate New York where it rained hail the size of baseballs and at night we watched shooting stars. It was the surreal week and the weather made it feel magical. But that setting wasn't something I could replicate later because, well, a lot of reasons. My friend moved away and I didn't have the connection to that place anymore, for one. And then I sold my next novel based on a proposal proposal, meaning an outline and a couple of sample chapters. After you publish your first book, you often can do this, sell your next novel based on a proposal. It's kind of great. Anyway, this time I had a newborn baby at home and no magical cabin upstate, very little sleep to boot, and I could only write for a couple of hours a day while my husband could watch him. How did I fit my writing in then? How did I manage? Well, for the first time in my life, I would stare at the blank computer screen and wouldn't know what to write. I had heard of writers being daunted by the screen before, but this is the first time this had ever actually happened to me. So I did Julia Cameron's The Artist's Way, which I highly recommend, by the way. It's a book. And after doing that, I decided to try writing my novel by hand. And it worked. Over my eight-week maternity leave in just about two hours a day tops, I wrote my book. Writing my novel draft by hand and then transcribing it was transformative for me. I have written my books this way since. And... I've now taught this process to dozens of other writers and it has liberated many of them as well. This is true for a few reasons. First, when you're handwriting, especially, you know, using a pen and notebook, it's easier to resist the temptation to go back and rewrite what you just wrote. You know, you may wind up with pages and some strike throughs, but it seems to be enough of deterrent to go like this on huge pages that people just keep moving along instead of trying to delete. It also eliminates all the distractions on a computer, like texts and social media notifications and the lure of the internet. Now, handwriting is not a good fit for everyone, I know that, but if you're able to, I really encourage giving it a try. I say all of this to say that I found that when I write by hand and I'm not distracted by all the stuff on my computer, I can write pretty fast, about a thousand words an hour. Now, this is when I'm in the flow and not revising as I go. And this is how I wrote my draft in an hour or two a day over about eight weeks with a newborn at home. Since then, I have kept up my writing by hand approach and I find that by writing about 45 minutes a day, I can finish a draft in under three months. Think about that. 45 minutes to an hour, or up to, let's say, 90 minutes a few days a week. And you could still finish a full novel draft in one season. This is basically a workout schedule. If you like fitness, you can think about it that way. If you can fit working out into your life, you can fit writing a book into your life. And you absolutely don't have to write every day or for hours a day to get your draft done. I work with lots of writers who finish their books writing between client meetings or on their lunch break or before breakfast. And they do this successfully and joyfully and they're proud when they finish. So ask yourself, when is it convenient for you to write your book? Because that's the secret to productivity. It may not look like what you think it should or what you've expected, and that's more than fine because that's how you're going to get your book done. We want you to find a process that works with the life you have right now, not the life that you used to have or that you'll have one day. And it doesn't matter what it looks like as long as it works for you. Speaking of writing, are you writing a book or do you wanna write a book? Because if so, I would love to hear from you. When I'm not writing, my mission is to help writers write their dream books. I love it. And if you're curious to know more, I have a video walking you through my four notebooks method for writing a novel. You can get that video along with my free template for using the four notebooks method to write your novel by applying to my program, The Book Incubator, at the link below. It's a 12-month MFA alternative and the application is just two questions. I just ask you to tell me a little bit about you and your book or your book idea. It'll take you less than five minutes. So go to the link below or go to thebookincubator.com. I really hope to hear from you.